amongst this august body. Harry, Harry, Harry. By the orders of the most great worshipful master of Masons in the state of California, I command that all persons present preserve the silence and observe order and decorum during the ceremonies that are about to take place. It has ever been the custom when called upon for the craft to assemble themselves in ancient craft ceremony to lay the foundation stone of an edifice. After 40 years of existence, the most worshipful King David Grand Lodge has come here for that purpose. Right wish for Grand Senior Warden. You will communicate this to the Junior Warden and each of the public they have due and timely notice and govern themselves accordingly. Right Worshipful Junior Grand Junior Warden. It is upon the orders of the Grand Master that the stone for this building be now laid in ancient and due form. This you will communicate to the brethren and all who's present so they may take notice and govern themselves accordingly. Brethren and all present, it is the will of the most worshipful Grand Master of Masons that this stone be now tested, tried, and laid in accordance to ancient craft usages. Take due notice and govern yourselves accordingly. We are taught as Masons that none of us should ever enter in any important undertaking without first invoking the blessings of deity. Right, which for Grand Junior and Senior Deacon, 
you'll escort the son of the Honorable Eugene Phillips to the Center for Prayer. Move. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. While I'm on this dangerous journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we come now to say thank you. God, we thank you because you've been good. We thank you because you've been kind. We thank you because you've kept us in our right mind. And so, God, we pause now to tell you thank you for all you have done. For we understand if you never do anything else, you've already done enough. Now, God, on this day, we come to thank you for Gabe Brooks. We come to thank you for Leroy George. We come to thank you for Brother McCants. We come to thank you for Eugene Phillips. And we come to thank you for John Phillips, all grandmasters who've laid their blood, sweat, and tears to further kingdom business. We thank you for these men and these women who gathered here today, God, to lay in of this cornerstone. We pray now, God, that the actions today are pleasing in your sight. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice, God, that no one shall be in lack. And God, you'll keep your hand of protection around them, on them, on their life. And then God will give you praise simply because you're God. It's in the majestic miraculous and merciful name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Be my friend, Lord. Be my friend. Be my friend, Lord. Be my friend. While I'm on this Journey. I want Jesus to be my friend. Right Bush for Grand Treasury is a custom on such an occasion to prepare and deposit within the stone certain items or mementos to, to commemorate the day. Has such a box been prepared? Yes. Right Bush for Grand Secretary, please read the articles contained within the deposit. One, National Geographic, dating November 1982. And one, LA Times, dated today, November 20th, 2022. Right, Wish for Grand Treasure, you would deposit these articles beneath the stone and may ages pass for air before they ever be seen again. stone and bless the building around you and let everything be given to thy glory and thy name in Jesus name we pray amen be. amen be. amen be. you will be able to ascertain that the materials for the stone that you are about to lay is well formed, true, and trusty. You deliver these tools to the proper craftsman.
right wishful deputy grandmaster. What is the jewel of your office? The square, most worshipful grandmaster. Apply that square to the portion of the stone that should be square and make your report. Most worship Grandmaster, the craftsmen have performed their duties and your orders have been obeyed. Amen. Some Amen. Some Amen. Some Amen. Some right wish for Grand Senior Warden. What is the jewel of your office? Level, Grandmaster. Apply that level to the portion of the stone that should be level and make your report. Grandmaster, I've obeyed your orders, and I find this stone to be level. The craftsmen have done their duty. Amen. Somebody be. Amen. Somebody be. Amen. Somebody be. Right, wishful Grand Junior Warden. What is the jewel of your office? The plum, most worshipful Grand Master. Apply that plum to the portion of the stone that should be plum, and make your report. Your orders have been obeyed, most worshipful Grand Master. The stone is found to be plumb. The craftsmen have performed their duty. Amen. So be. Amen. So be. Amen. So be. The trial is an instrument used by operative masons to spread the cement that binds the building to one common mass. But we as speculative masons use it for the most noble and glorious purpose of spreading the cement of brotherly love. That brotherly love that binds us, binds us into one solid band so that no contention ever exists except for that noble contention who should best work and agree. I declare that this stone has been now tried and tested and laid in the ancient craft uses and may the glory of God be given. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Samoda B. Amen. Samoda B. Amen. Samoda B. I scatter this corn as a symbol of plenty. May the blessings of bounteous heaven shower upon the land, and may the hearts of the people be inspired by virtue, wisdom, and gratitude. Amen. Samoa B. Amen. Samoa B. Amen. Samoa B. I pour this wine as a symbol of refreshment and gladness. And the giver of all good, and the giver of all good, let him refresh the craftsman, prosper the government, 
and preserve the unity of the states. And may the Masonic fraternity continue to be a bond of friendship, morality, and brotherly love. Amen. Amen. And amen. And I pour this oil as an emblem of peace and joy. Yeah. And may the blessings of heaven descend upon this and all good works. And may the hearts of the widowed, the fatherless, and the distressed be blessed until sorrow and distress yes, shall be no more. All right. Amen. Some more to be. Amen. Some more to be. Amen. Some more to be. Today, history has been made, 40 years. 40 is said to be in the Bible, the testing number. Moses, sorry, Moses toiled 40 years in Egypt yeah. and 40 years in the desert mm -hmm. before the great I Am called him to lead the people. 40 years, but that was his story. 40 years ago, the Honorable Gabe Brooks, 33rd degree, decided to step out on faith and form the most worshipful King David Grand Lodge, mm. ancient free and accepted Masons. And on the anniversary of our first Grand Matron's death, we are here to lay the stone, but that is a part of his story. Years ago, this young boy sat at the feet of these giants, yeah. hoping one day to emulate them and follow in their footsteps. But that again is his story. But we're telling the history today of a cornerstone. We're telling the history of a boy that was born to a virgin. Sweet. One that kept, sat and slept in a manger, and at the age of 12 taught all thousands. But that same boy was one day rejected, but he came back to be the chief cornerstone. Yeah. Oh, that oh. same cornerstone will one day come back and rule all of us. Yeah. That same cornerstone that each and every one of us have reverence for and obey. Yeah. That cornerstone I'm speaking of is Jesus Christ himself and none the less. And on. if Jesus Christ himself is the head of the church and of the people. That is our cornerstone. We ask today that Jesus Christ in his wisdom and infinite mercy bless the most worshipful King David Grand Lodge yes. to have another 40 years of history yes. because yes. his story and history has been made today. Most Supreme Heavenly Father, we ask that you, we have laid this stone, we ask that you bless this building, bless the craftsmen, and give us a constant supply of the corn of nourishment, the wine of refreshment, and the oil of joy. Craftsmen, you would do as I do as we behold the public honor signs. It is my pleasure to announce that the Most Worshipful King David Grand Lodge has duly tried and tested the stone of the Most Worshipful King David Grand Lodge and may the Supreme Architect of the Universe continue to grant prosperity to this jurisdiction. Right Worshipful Grand Marshal, you will proclaim this to the public. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. On this day, November 20th, 2022, the Most Worshipful Grand Master, the Most Worshipful Grand Master, John Phillips of the most worshipful King David Grand Lodge has laid this cornerstone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for attending today's ceremony.
Yes, yes. Whatever, whatever, whatever.